Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 10 of All the Mods 9. And today we are actually going to be getting into uh, alchemistry a little bit here. So I quickly want to make up this dissolver. Let's see if we can find the piston recipe here. Looks like I don't have enough planks. Uh, let's just make some spruce planks. There we go. And we should be able to make two pistons. Uh, we're going to kind of make things as we need them here. Uh, I also need a hopper, I believe. Okay. And we're going to kind of make this on the side of the building here. Uh, just because I kind of want to have a little bit of, uh, of room for this. So we're going to put a... Uh, oh, this is a normal pot, isn't it? No, it's a hopper. It just doesn't have anything on the bottom. Okay. Uh, we're going to put that there. Put a Teridium farmland in there. And then we're going to need some wheat seeds. Let's see here. Uh, wheat seeds right there. And we're trying this with wheat first, because I'm curious. Uh, wheat seeds, and these actually should have a decent grow time. I think it's multiplied by like 1.2. Yeah, okay, 1.2. And then we'll put a chest here, and a hopper here. Looks like we may need some power for this. So we're going to tap into the wall here. And we're going to go grab some energy cables. Uh, let's see. Energy cables. These right here. Pipes, cables, whatever they're called. And we're just going to run this down here. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. Okay, perfect. Um, and then what this will do is this will dissolve it into certain chemical ingredients. And as you can see here, this is not giving us anything. It's because actually wheat really has a high chance of giving us nothing. Um, this is actually what we want right here, the cellulose. You can see that we're actually getting some cellulose from seeds. This is actually guaranteed. Um, so I, we kind of don't really care about the wheat at all. But it gives us a potential of getting some more cellulose and also some of the starch. Okay, so cellulose is 25, starch is 5. And then, of course, starch can be broken down into carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Uh, let's see. It can also be made... can make creatine, starch dust. can make potatoes, make starch dust. Okay. Um, so cellulose. The reason we want cellulose is to actually dissolve this down into carbon. So everything we get from this can produce carbon. Our goal is to actually get carbon and make diamonds. So we're going to try and make diamonds out of wheat. And I'm kind of curious if we can actually get this going. Um, Alchemistry and Chemlib are very, very interesting mods. And I've always wanted to mess with them. Um, but I just never have. So, let's look at this. So, we need some more magma blocks. We need a couple of pistons. One, two. Perfect. And then, that's another dissolver. We're also going to need another hopper here. So, we'll probably put another power cable here. Dissolver. There. So this will break down cellulose. Oh, it looks like we actually could set this to kind of just output without this. So we may do that here in a second. But yeah, so we're getting carbon. And we need a, we need 64 carbon to actually make a diamond, I do believe. And if we look here, we should be able to see on the compactor we can make graphite. And then with this graphite, we can make... Um, diamond or no graphite dust and then diamonds after the fact so it's a really convoluted process and i think we either need 64 or 128 of this uh, the hydrogen and oxygen really aren't going to be used that much so let's actually take this out take this out and let's see if we can actually do push and then pull Um, oh, okay, push there, and then here we need to find pop. Oh, that's a really weird configuration, I'm not going to lie. 
Is that going to work? Okay, doesn't look like it is. Oh well. Let's put the dissolver back here. Put the hopper here. And then that way, of course, we are still getting the carbon and everything. Um, and then I think what we'll want to do is immediately combine, or compact the graphite. So let's see if we can make a filter of some sort. Do we have any access to Ender IO filters? Is that a thing yet? It does not look like it's fully a thing. We've got a redstone filter base. Um, doobly doo. I don't think we have like any built in filters, right? There's no thermal, there's no. I mean, we could look at Ender OI items, filter. Um, via or pulsating, pulsating is Ender Pearl and that. Do I have any of that? I don't think I've created any of that, but I mean, we can go for an ingot of this and see if we can figure out something. So we'll turn this to alloys only, do that, do that. And then that should work on that. Yeah, we're going to need to get another generator if we're going to keep doing this, because apparently alchemistry is very expensive with energy. So uh, and I should have conduit binder somewhere around here. Uh, conduit binder right there. Okay. And then I doubt this will give us any filtering at all. But it's worth a shot. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we have slots for it, but not anything else. Okay. Um... What did we say that filter recipe was? Uh, four paper, four iron, and four redstone alloy ingots. Redstone and silicone makes that. All right, let me get that number right back. All right, so actually, I guess apparently the filter is built in here a little bit, and we are pulling carbon out of here very, very slowly. Um, and it looks like we're going to have to figure out oxygen and all that, but the combiner that's what we need now um let's see combiner we need this thing no is it compactor yeah this thing right here compactor um looks like we're gonna need some stone let's see stone uh looks like we're gonna need some redstone as well what else are we gonna need iron i should have enough iron for these um, pistons, pistons, man, I hate how there's so many recipes for pistons now, goodness, it's very, very confusing, but that's a-okay, so let's go for 16 of these, oh, nope, I just grabbed 20, whatever, uh, we'll grab all four of these, because I don't know how many I need, and I might use them in the future anyway, but, uh, we'll see, all right, so, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can actually pull from this. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to need more. We're going to definitely need some more power generation. Um, hmm, I'm going to have to get more generators real quick. But for right now, what we'll do is we'll throw in the carbon. We're going to lock that recipe. That'll give us graphite. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is do this again with eight of this. And I don't think we're going to be able to pull out of that. Yeah, I don't think the whole pulling and pushing thing works. So let's let this run real quick. Run one more time. Okay, so let's pick this up. We're going to have to, I guess we're going to have to kind of like make this really, really weird. And I'll probably move this, by the way. We're kind of just doing this as proof of concept. So don't, don't mind how I'm placing things. All right, my inventory is full. 
course it is. Uh, always active. And then here, we're going to do insert. And that should give us that. Lock recipe. And then here, we're going to want to disable that. And then we're going to want to put eight of this in here. Uh, open recipe selection, graphite, dust. Is that not going to work? Uh, why is that not going to work? Right? It's graphite and a compactor, eight graphite C4 to make graphite dust in a compactor. Uh, is that why? What is, what is happening there? Okay, I don't know what that was, but all right. Uh, I'm going to need some more energy pipes. Okay, so we're going to turn this on to extract, this on to insert, and that should be graphite. Perfect. And with graphite, of course, after 16 of these, we're going to actually be able to make a singular diamond. Um, this is a very drawn out process, but this should be everything we need to actually complete this whole chaotic system. Uh, put that there. Take out what we have. Lock that recipe. And then we should be able to do always active. And then on the bottom here, insert. Okay. So that, in theory, is an entire process of making a singular diamond from wheat and wheat seeds. Right? Uh, let's see. So, of course, we can expand this. If we had a wheat farm... Theoretically, this would be significantly better. Um, I think if we have ours in here, yeah, if we wanted to, we could actually start on ours and get a decently good wheat farm going and actually make uh, it diamonds this way. Is this is this the best option? No, but I've never messed with alchemistry before, and I kind of think it's kind of cool that you could literally take wheat seeds and wheat and convert that into a diamond. That is awesome. I Because I, I knew the flexibility of this mod, right? Carbon um, is basically, you know, organic stuff. So, in theory, you could do pumpkins. Let's see. Pumpkins, if I can type here. Um, let's see. If we wanted to, we could look at pumpkins. Pumpkins can be converted into cellulose. Of course, the seeds can. And then the pumpkin itself is actually 50-50, whatever in the world that is. And then this can actually be broken down into a ton of carbon, actually. And that's actually pretty cool. And that's a 50-50 shot of actually getting something out of a pumpkin. So, of course, there are better options, right? Uh, and, I mean, if we even look at seeds here, I think, like, even melon seeds, these might actually be better. Let's see. Um, melons, of course, you get melon slices from that, uh, which can be broken down into sucrose, which is sugar. But you can see here that there's a C12 and a C32. What these actually mean, these are the chemical compositions. Whenever you break something down, it appears that you will get two, or in this case, 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen. Well, here you get 32 carbon, 44 hydrogen, and 8 oxygen, right? So those chemical compositions are actually what you would get here. Um, so for example, if we wanted to, we could look up carbon and we should see, or let's look up like C and then space, start that maybe. Can we look at everything that has some sort of carbon in it? Yeah, because you get complicated, right? Um, lead carbonate, man, there's some some stuff you can do. But basically, if you wanted to, you could look through these and figure out how to do a lot of this stuff. So, for example, I'm kind of curious if emerald is actually a chemical composition that we could make. Uh, actually, you can see here. Here's the chemical composition of emeralds. 
It's uh, BE three AL two SI six and oxygen eighteen. I'm not gonna pretend like I remember the entire periodic table. I think that's like beryllium or something, isn't it? But I, I yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh, it's beryl, and oh, this is at what you get from it. So yeah. Uh, let's see. So if we wanted to craft this, vendium, chromium, and beryllium, or beryl. So some of these probably aren't 100%, you know, going to be pronounceable by me, but oh well. Uh, you could get emeralds, you could get everything. So think of this mod pack as giving you what? They've got productive bees, they've got alchemistry, and they've also got uh, mystical agriculture. So therefore you can do a lot of different material generations by simply doing this. And of course, you could actually also create coal using this system, right? Because graphite at the end of the day is what you would actually compose this of because we actually were looking at that charcoal and this. And then if you get a little bit more, of course you can get diamonds and, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like you could actually stop and get gunpowder, blaze powder. Man, there's some interesting stuff you can get done with this mod. Um, I'm kind of thinking we should probably get a better source of seeds. And then maybe we can actually do some other stuff with this. There's actually a full, full periodic table right there. And then, of course, this is going to be like the base for a lot of stuff. Um, this hydrogen and oxygen. Let's see, there's sucrose. Sucrose, I would think, is sugar, right? Like, you can get sugar stuff out of it. Yeah. Uh, cactus, apple, slime ball, sucrose dust, honeycomb, melon seeds, beetroot seeds, wheat seeds. Man, there is so much stuff. What is this? Okay, I was just curious. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. I really don't have a lot of time to get this episode out. Uh, I have been messing with some things, as you guys have seen. And uh, I also was working on mystical agriculture for the past few hours. And uh, that took up a lot of time. Because I am doing a lot of mystical agriculture stuff off camera. I'm working on getting stuff towards refined storage. Materials for that. Um, so we actually can get geared towards that. And I've been working on a drawer system for mystical agriculture. Uh, two by two for all of the elements. And uh, this has actually been a little bit of a time consuming task. We actually have some diamond essence up here uh, that I need to draw because I just made that seed, which if you don't know, this is actually a premium one. This is tier five. Uh, that took quite a while to get to because uh, we don't have a lot of essence and we need to get a lot more. Uh, looks like we also have, of course, gold. I believe we have the uh, quartz enriched iron. I got fluix and certus quartz. I didn't really go into the mods that much. I just went and grabbed, you know, things that I think we might need in the future. Uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll need. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do apologize for this being a shorter episode, but I have been doing a lot of things off camera, and I really want to look at that Alchemistry mod quite a lot more, because it is a fascinating mod, of course, and I think there is so, so much that we are missing, um, you know, not using it. And I don't really know who else is going to be using it, probably because it's a little complicated and a little bit power-consuming. So maybe we'll get a better power system, and we'll go, like, full in-depth, make like a uh, massive farm to just make diamonds out of. I mean, that that actually sounds pretty cool. Um, even, I think we could even look at maybe even uh, oak saplings. I think stuff like this could actually drop um, cellulose. Okay, so not that much cellulose, but does a log, kind of curious, does a log drop cellulose? Oh, so actually logs would give you cellulose. So if we actually made like a tree farm, we could in theory kind of make diamonds out of trees, that might be something. Um, because we also do have Industrial Fort going in the pack now, um, which has been added recently. And uh, there's some things we can look into. That is for sure. Thank you guys. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.